wait, wait. Check, check, check it out. If you ain't know who it is, it's Indy and Monet, the bad, bad. You know you're the baddest, baby. Oh, oh. Hey y'all, it's Indy and Monet. Welcome back to my channel. This is part three. The last the last leg of the trip. If you have not seen part one and part two, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to my channel and go look at those videos. So in part one and part two, I explained what, what we did. We were in Croatia for 11 days. Uh, we went to Yatnik. If you don't know what Yatnik is, go see part one. That's where I explain everything. Yeah, and this last leg is a lot of partying. Every single day. A lot of drinking, a lot of turning up. Yeah. Since it's the end of the Yannick series, the Croatia series, let me just give y'all a rundown of my experience of Yannick and what I really thought about it. So, I think overall I would give the entire trip a 9 out of 10. It was so great. It was so amazing. Um, I think my favorite part about the entire trip was really exploring, like, another country because I've only been to Mexico like I haven't really been out the country that much <clears throat> so like looking at Croatia it just looks so pretty it looks like something out of a movie I was like wow I'm living in a postcard um yeah Nick um in my opinion I would say it was like a seven half eight out of ten um I just wish that so basically it's like it's just parties every day just parties I wish that there were more like I guess like events where people got to um mix and mingle i know my group well i know me personally i didn't really mix and mingle with other people like our group we really just stayed within to ourselves because it was like a lot of us and it was just fun that way and like i just feel like i didn't know what to expect living on a boat living on a boat oh my gosh y'all living on a boat was crazy like everything we had to do we had to like walk the plank i did not expect that we had to like jump out of not jump but get out the boat climb down the boat climb down a big yacht to get into a water taxi that was like the scariest part but then eventually like you get used to it that was scary we had to take water taxis everywhere sometimes the water taxis were so small it was like a mini boat it was kind of like just scary because I had never been on a boat for real so I just didn't know what to expect I'm the type of person I'm like I, I got really bad FOMO so I just paid and went um but me personally like the parties was fun but I feel like they play the same type of music all the time I feel like there should have been more variety of events I don't know like when I I don't want to party all the time like I feel like sometimes yeah but like I wish there were like mixers or people were just like you know happy hour type thing where people can sit and meet mix and mingle and talk maybe like a little speed dating part like not actually dating but like get to meet people who are on the trip because i don't really meet nobody i don't care that much but i feel like just to give it a variety you know there was a lot of miscommunication with yacht nick the group chat and stuff getting canceled so getting rearranged some of the parties getting shut down it was just a lot it was just a lot sometimes but you know when you're in another country you're dealing with black people I mean, we gotta be real with ourselves. Just be prepared for the unexpected. But overall, it was really a really good experience. If you're thinking about doing it, I definitely would do it. I definitely would go. Would I do it again? Probably not. Living on a boat for a week was just not it. Like, I don't know, like you taking a shower on a boat is not cute. I definitely made sure that whenever we stopped at the marinas, I would sh shower at the community showers at the marinas. As far as Croatia goes, oh my god, the food was so good. The food was so fresh, like, so fresh. Like, whatever America is feeding us, it's literally making us fat, and it's literally making us sick. The food in Croatia was so freaking good. Like, the pizza, the cheese, they're right next there, so close to Italy. The meat, the chicken, the lamb, the steak, the beef, like, everything in Croatia was so fresh. The prosciutto, oh my god, the bread. And our host Nicole was throwing down, throwing down. Like spending money, like a lot of stuff was really cheap, but some stuff was like decently priced. But like for the most part, like the exchange rate was really good. The people were nice. I mean, the country is very, 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 very white. We did run into some white dudes who said they never seen black people before. Um, but overall, I had a great experience. I definitely would go to Croatia again. Um, I definitely felt safe there, even though it was very white. Um, 
but yeah like i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog series if you did not see part one and two make sure you go back and watch those it was a great time girl and make sure you subscribe to my channel join the posse because literally we're living life our vibe over here is living life so yeah see you guys in the next video And only what you need to do to put the wood embers on it, which we are getting from this big fire here. So uh, for me, for fish, we need one and a half hour. For meat, we need a little bit more, so two hours. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, would you like to check the winery? Yeah. We are hungry, like. Uh, Uh, we can start with Marashtina. Marashtina is 12.5% above. So we got this dessert. I don't know what it is. All like chocolate. I had this brownie. Things like a brownie. It was so good. We're all very, very lit right now. Pretty drunk. Second day of the drunk. Yes. Oh my god. You look, it's giving Rainforest Cafe in here, but in real life. <laughs> Should have been. Right. Wants to be. But America can't do it. Unless frogs. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. <laughs> now we're going to the housewives like bus. <laughs> so, this is me being a real housewife on a sprinter. Oh, so it's me. <laughs> you got video. I really have to cut the conversation right there because it got real explicit. I'm not going to put my girls out there like that. I really kicked it off candy style with the Real Housewives of Atlanta Sprinter. <laughs> I thought we had our own Sprinter. <laughs> okay, so it's me. Uh, scrambled eggs from scratch because I ain't never gonna burnt scrambled eggs. Uh -huh. um, does anybody have a 
different particular egg request for this morning besides scrambled or? Divas! Divas! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need another battery. So this is the raft party. What? I said we don't know where I DJ at. On the south side, one on the north side. They've been turning it up. <laughs> Nicole threw down with the meal, okay? She gave us was pulled pork sandwich, sweet potato fries. For four, hours. four hours. She had the crock pot on the motherfucking boat, bitch. Okay. We've been twerking on the boat all day. Hell yeah. She made us sweet potato fries. <laughs> the beach. Let's go to this party. Oh, wait. oh wait a minute. Let me get you. So cute. <laughs> okay.
It tastes like that old people syrup. I love it. Trey, you're not trying to taste no wine? <laughs> so this is made for our most grown, the red variety. Oh, it's funny. This is good. Nobody knows how this is going. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to go <laughs> I like it though. <laughs> you don't like it? <laughs> You must be saying so, but so we're doing a rose wine. I think I'm like this whole time. No, you know, I've been saying it every day. I've been converting to all the time. Nice. Oh. Go ahead, and top it off. Pretty. It's so pretty. 
swimsuit. Icon swim. <laughs> Best swimsuit place ever. Our candy over how pretty it is here. Oh, the rocks are not fun though. Okay, pause. So, you would think when you're overseas, you wouldn't see shit like this. Oh, but it went down. There was a huge fight. No, 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 They said it wasn't a fight, it was a brawl. Okay, so let me tell you guys the story. So, me and my homegirl, Sanaja, was at the beach and the party was like behind us. Everybody else was at the party. So, we hear the music cut off, we hear loud noises, we can't find our friends. So, we're like, let's run over there and let's see what's going on. Long story short, I heard that basically some girls, some group of girls was beefed up, right? So they was beefed up and um, I don't know what happened. I for, literally forgot, but this girl poured a drink on this other girl's head. Like, girl, this is not loving hip hop. So yeah, it went from, they was beefed up, uh, one girl, that I think they was looking at each other funny and then a girl poured a drink on another girl's head and then basically they just started fighting. They started throwing bottles, started throwing chairs. They were trying to stop it. This is the owner's face when it all went down. Here's a little clip of the fight. I'm not the one to really be putting black people on blast, but it was crazy. People was bloody, like the party got shut down. Like it was a lot of crazy stuff. Like we seen the girls getting pulled apart. It Like it was a lot, like you see it here. Um, but I just wanted to let y'all know, like no matter where we at, unfortunately, the nigga shit will happen. <laughs> Now what I can say is the way I got this footage was hilarious. We were all waiting for our rides back to where we were at. And of course black people, literally everybody had their airdrop on and people like airdrop the fight to each other. So, I mean, I guess that's a little culture. I mean, that's kind of funny, but um, back to the turn up. And let's stop fighting on vacation, like really. Sneak outfits. A Mexican trash can punch. Oh, in the big pot. In the big pot. They don't even notice our thing. We got one part champagne. We got some tequila shots. You just want to bum booties with me. <laughs> Yes. 
So this day was regatta day, which is like a themed party. So we all decided to do freak meek. So we was dressed up like hunchback, hunchback, hoochie mamas. Yes, girl, look at me. I'm cute in my the baddest shirt. We were supposed to have a whole video shoot footage, but it got lost. So this is all that I have. Look on Instagram for more content. Okay, India. You Mermaid. It's giving mermaid. And a bitch like me is tired. No. I'm ready. Girl, pass y'all. No, no, no. They went to the fire. I'm scared. So it doesn't matter. What's that straw? <laughs> you? Yeah. Why don't y'all come sit right here? I'm scared. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, you right here. Can y'all go down yeah. the way? Yeah. 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 Take a deep side. So y'all don't have to. Yeah. Just pull over. Yeah. 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 Wait, I just put my shot in it now or wait? No, you gotta wait. Light it, put your shot all the way to the bottom. Uh, now it's stuck. All the way from the bottom. Yeah, like Damn. that. Okay, maybe you did tease brave with some things. <laughs> 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 Raven's face was so funny. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> he was like, <laughs> you moving it too much. <laughs> <laughs> 